man. Do you, Susie, take this man? Take this man. Do you, Susie, take this man? 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 No! My poor baby, I knew she didn't want to go through with this. Stephanie, sit down. Leave him alone. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Why? I can't marry you. I Why? can't explain. Give Just me a let chance. Go of me. Just let no. go of me. No, you've got to tell me what's going on. All right, all right. If I marry you, you're going to die. I am not going to die if you marry me. Yes, you will. Please, Cagney. Just let no, go of me. No, you can't run on at me like this. I love you. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. Just let go of me. Stop fighting me. Let go of me. All right. All right, you asked for it. Oh! 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 oh. Father Tracy! Oh. Me! Give me five minutes. That's all I'm asking. Five minutes. Thank you. Oh! That's the way you want it. That's the way you're going to get it. Ow! 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 I don't want to stay in here, Cagney McCleary, and you can't make me. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay right here for as long as it takes to straighten out this mess. We can't. Don't you think I would if I could? Well, you better start trying, honey, because it's going to be a long night otherwise. I want an explanation. No, I deserve an explanation. I've already told you in the chapel. If I marry you, you're going to die. You can't be talking about this stupid brooch. Stop yelling at me. Well, what, what do you expect me to do, huh? None of this makes any sense. You have to believe. You have to understand. I'm only trying to do what's right. No. Talk Ooh. to me. Oh. All right. All right. It all started on the night of our engagement party with the shattered mirror and, and then the brooch. And every time I've turned around since then, there's another sign of bad luck. There's black cats, there's spilling salt, there's ladders. Common things people see all the time. Not the same person over and over again. And then there was a fortune teller. The one at the fair, right. Yes, and she all she could see for us was death. She said it was fate and it, and it was destiny. Oh, sweetheart. And she was mm. afraid for us that if I married you, you were going to die. And you know, I tried not to listen to her, I really did. But the look in her eyes, she had shed so much sadness in her eyes. Okay, okay, and then just now I was standing at the altar with you, and I, I turned around, and, and you looked like a skeleton. None of that was real. This is real. It was all in your mind. How can you say that that's all in my mind? What about your mother? She was almost killed. And because I ignored all those warning signs, I can't do that again. I can't make that mistake. Next time I could be responsible for your death. I don't believe any of that. What happened to my mother was a, was a freak accident. All right, then where is Hogan? Where is he? He would, nothing, nothing would make him miss this wedding unless something horrible had happened to him. Oh, I'm sorry. I've made up my mind and you can't change it. I love you way too much to marry you. Curses, omens, fortune tellers. I don't believe in any of it and I'm not about to start. You know what I do believe in? What? You. And our love. I do too. No, you don't. If you can walk away from it this easily. I'm just afraid something bad is going to happen. Don't you see? I'm doing this for you. So you made the decision all on your own to call this whole thing off. Who gave you the right? I don't believe for one minute that if I marry you, I'm going to die. Doesn't what I feel about all this mumbo jumbo hocus pocus mean anything? This was supposed to be the happiest day of our lives. A minute ago, when we came in here, you said you wanted to leave, right? Okay. Just tell me you don't love me. I'll go out that window, I'll get the key. You can walk out of that door and out of my life. I promise I'll never bother you again. Just tell me you don't love me anymore. No. I can't. I do love you. But all what? Of... There you go again. Susie, you've been hesitant about this marriage for one reason or another for a long time now. I'm going to ask you one more question, and I promise that'll be the last. 
Will you walk back into that chapel with me and get married? Yes or no? Susie? 